Yo, what's up? It's MB14. Welcome back to SBX Tutorials. Today's episode is about layering snares. Uh, basically, in a lot of productions, in a lot of musical genres, uh, producers mix snares to give more impact, more color, more taste, whatever, to their production. And us, as beatboxers and loopers, we really want to get as close as possible to that level of production. So that's why you can layer snares depending on which style you want to do. And today I'm going to show you, for like hip-hop, trap, even reggae music, how you can associate your snares to have a fuller sound. So for the first example, we're gonna use three different snares. Since it's a really hip hop boom bap song, we want the drums to be really percussive. So the first snare I'm gonna put in the song is the really classic snare. The second snare we're gonna add is the spit snare or clap. The last snare I'm gonna add is called the inward case snare. It goes like this. The reason why I wanna use those three snares is because in a hip hop song, you really wanna have this impact with the kick and the snare. And the thing is, it has to be a balance between both. Because if you have a really deep, powerful kick, but a light snare, it might lose this feeling on your body, you know? But if you're using several snares, then you can occupy a larger range of frequencies. That's why I like to mix up the which has a lot of mediums and little bass frequencies. Uh, I like to use the for the attack and I like to add claps to have a bright sound and a, a good amount of high frequencies. So for me, that's how you make boom bap beats really sound punchy and catchy. It's by having a really powerful kick and a powerful snare. The next one is going to be a trap beat. And for that one, we can have less snares. It's more about the atmosphere. So for this track, the first snare I'm going to use is a spit snare with no reverb. The second snare I'm going to use is called the cuff snare and I'm going to add some reverb on it. So on this beat we use the spit snare without reverb just for the impact. For the second snare we add a lot of reverb because we want the texture to come out really well with a lot of space. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon on SBX Tutorials.